guys and welcome back. This week I wanted to talk to you about the basic things that you need for a newborn baby for maybe the first month. When I had Max there was a lot of things, a lot of items that I had to kind of relate to and figure out do I really need this or is it just something that I might need or it's really confusing to figure it out. When you're a first time mom you're just like I just want to know what are the basics, the things that I'm actually going to need and that I should run out and buy. So I've tried to make this list as realistic as possible and really gone through what did I actually use and what was beneficial. So these are the basic things that I would recommend if you have a newborn coming. First off is clothes. So how much do you need and what kind? I love these sleepers. It's just basic cotton so it's breathable. There are feet in here and there are buttons. You can also get them with zippers. The great thing about this is that most babies they don't like having things pulled over their heads. It's a big reason for them to start crying and when you're a new parent just for the first month there are enough new things already. So we just found that with six of these we actually had the clo all the clothes that we needed. We didn't use anything but sleepers for the first month. And I would say if you get onesies, then try and get some like this one. It has buttons and it opens up completely. So this way it just wraps around and you still don't have to worry about pulling things over their heads, which they don't like. And also if you need something that's warmer, use something with buttons again. So just be very practical. I would not go out and buy more than one of these because they're so small and buy them a size or two sizes up. So what? They're going to be a little big but they grow super fast the first one month to two months. So they're going to outgrow most of the stuff anyway. Obviously your friends are going to give you stuff and you're want going to want to buy a little bit yourself. So just maybe try and ask your friends if they want to give you clothes to buy something in the next few sizes. And then just to be mindful that if they want to give you something, find really cute sleepers that has zippers or buttons. See that's it for clothes. It was really pretty easy, right? Six sleepers. In the clothes department, I would also recommend getting just one little hat. They get ear infections and stuff like that really easily so a little hat to begin with. Get one reliable baby monitor. This one is just a basic neonate one and uh, it has a baby unit and has a parent unit. You can set basic temperatures so it gives you an alarm if it gets too cold or too warm and it's really easy to use. It also has the temp built in and it's really nice to monitor Be especially in the beginning you're just always going and checking and stuff like that. So having the temp in there is good and then with every baby monitor you're gonna have to get used to it and trust it because you're a little nervous in the beginning you just want to do a good job and take care of your baby obviously so just get a basic one obviously you could upgrade this and buy a super expensive one we've just had this one it works and we like it the next thing I would definitely get are these old-fashioned in Denmark cloth diapers. Um, you will probably call them bird racks in the States. They're a little bit like uh, the swaddles that you use too. It's just like thin fabric and I use them so much. I color coded them a little bit so I have these lighter ones. I use them for bird racks so when he was burbing or spitting up I use them for that. Now I actually use these ones when he eats. So I wrap them around here and he doesn't get stuff on his clothes. The point is you can use these for a long time. I have some darker ones that I use at the change station. So when I change his diaper I just use these ones to dry it off. And uh, so they have a lot of purposes and we just found that we needed a lot of them. We also use a darker one to hang over the stroller to kind of uh, make it dark um, in there so it's easier for him to fall asleep. And I think we have about 20 of these. It seems like a lot, but you really go through them fast. I would recommend maybe just starting out with 10 and figuring out what your need is, but my bet is that you're gonna find them useful. The next thing on my list is two pacifiers and an additional strap to go with it. The pacifiers are so great, and I know that a lot of people say that their baby won't take the pacifier and all this stuff. And that might be true, and we might have just been lucky. But I remember one friend telling me that if there's one advice that she would give is to teach your baby to use a pacifier. And they're not always natural at it. So what we did was to just 
give it to him when he was crying. Obviously, we knew that he wasn't hungry. And then when he was falling asleep, we would actually put one of those uh, burp rags, just a light fluffy one, and put it just a little bit like up against. So when he was sleeping, it would kind of fall out. And then when he would wake up and get a little bit upset, he couldn't find it. So if it was just right there, so it could kind of fall out a little bit, but not all the way out. And this really helped. The strap is super handy because then you can actually clip it onto the clothes and then you can find it even in the dark at night. Okay, so I'm tempted to say that obviously you need a stroller, but some people don't need that. But I'm gonna put it on the list anyway. You need a stroller or a baby uh, carriage or something like that. We went with the Boogaboo stroller. It's a chameleon one, so it's super lightweight and I would recommend that for anyone. For us, the baby carriage was just Kind of big and bulky but if you're from Denmark this is a big debate always going on with yourself should I choose the baby carriage or should I choose the stroller with the bassinet part and the most likely thing is that you'll probably end up with both <laughs> one thing that I would recommend anyone getting for their stroller is actually it's a funny little thing and it seems weird probably but it's some kind of like stroller organizer cup holder thing and I started out with this thing. Um, it attaches to the side of the boogaboo and you can just put like a bottle or a cup or something in there. And it's so handy when you have to go out the door really fast and you need something to drink. Because sometimes you're going to be pushing that thing around for a long time to get your baby to sleep. And um, so this is handy. I upgraded it to this thing. It's not very pretty. It's just like a basic organizer. It has room for two cups here and you can put random things in the middle. So you can put your phone, your wallet, a snack, earphones, whatever you need. A lot of your basic needs just kind of get gets overrun when you have a baby the first month. So having something like this that's super easy, just put something in there, water, snacks, anything. And then when you're out walking, you actually have it there. This is why I recommend getting it as one of your basic items. When your new baby arrives, you need a bed. And there are so many options out there. There are co-sleepers, there are baby nests, old bassinets that's been passed down through the family and you might have slept in it and all these things. There are so many options and so many things available. And we just went super simple. We bought one of these. I don't know if you can see it. It's the bassinet part. We call it a lip. Uh, in Denmark and it's like an insert you can set it into the baby carriage and then when the baby's sleeping you can actually if you want to go and visit some friends you can just pull the bassinet part out and you can bring it in with you and you don't have to wake up your baby so it's super handy it's lightweight you can actually uh, collapse this the sides they uh, collapse completely so right now it's stored under Max's bed because we don't use it anymore this is just for like newborns up to maybe six months and after that they can't fit in it anymore. The point is it's super cheap. We just put it on the table, the ottoman, on the floor and we could move him around and if he had trouble falling asleep we could put him in here and we can rock him. You get a lot of use out of this thing for the money that you spend compared to how expensive the bed can be. So this is something that I would really recommend. I love the idea of the co-sleepers and I know they're super handy. They can also be expensive and my point is just you don't need it. Um, so go with what fits you the best, but this is what we did. Max started sleeping in his own normal bed when he was about, I think, five months old. And up until then, he just slept in that bassinet. You're gonna need some kind of comforter, uh, duvet, a blanket even. <laughs> you don't need a lot of them. I think we just got a basic, my mother-in-law, she knitted a blanket, a sweet little blanket for us and we used that on the warmer days. And then we have this thing for when it got colder. Very basic and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. When it comes to bathroom things, you need one pack of newborn size diapers. I will get the good kind. You don't want to have to deal with a lot of leaks the, just the first month. So get one pack. They grow out of them super fast. So even if you see a good deal for a lot of like multiple packs, just stick with one because you might not ever need them. And then it's just money wasted. You need basic wet wipes or a washcloth, whatever is your preference. 
And now I have three items that you might not need. And I hope you don't need them. <laughs> First thing is a thermometer. I hope you don't need this, but it's just really nice to have it because if your baby for some reason feels warm and you just want to check, it's just good to have this. You don't want to have to then run to the supermarket to get this. The same thing goes for this little thing. You might not know what this is, but it's actually to like suck the snot out of the, <laughs> your baby's nose. They are so small and fragile in the beginning and you might not need this, but it's like two bucks or something. And it will just give you the security that if you need it and your baby gets congested during the night, then you have these things on hand and you can act on it. The third thing is almost the same. It's like, um, it's like butt lotion. <laughs> Babies' butts can get really red super fast and it goes away super quickly too, but you n probably need some of this. So this is quite a big too, but now he's 10 months and it's almost getting to the empty point. So obviously if you can find just a small tube of this stuff, then that would be fine. But I would just have this on hand because when you're there with a fragile new little baby, and these little butt cheeks start to turn red, then you want to be able to do something right there and then. So I would get just one tube of this to begin with. For the first week or so, maybe two, you probably won't need to have your baby uh, take a bath and there's a lot of natural greases on their bodies. So it's not really recommended, I don't believe, for the first few, few weeks. I forgot. But within the first month, at least, you will need to give your baby a bath. We bought this collapsible. Uh, bathtub. It is super handy and Max loves it. You can fold it out and it has a plug in there and then you just stick him in this one. Um, we love this size and we actually started out with just using the sink but it was too big of a hassle. So we got this one and we can use it in our camper as well and we can bring it on vacations and stuff like that so it's really worth the money. Obviously you could go with uh, something simpler. This one is just really easy because it actually fits behind the, the toilet. <laughs> so we don't see it every day. They do have a baby insert that goes with this one. And I don't think you would need that. Like we never used it. And I just, I really liked being able to hold Max down there in the tub. So I felt like he was secure. Um, and then I could wash him with a washcloth. Uh, with the other hand. So I would say just get a tub and don't worry about the inserts or the things to put them on. Just put them on a table or something and put a towel under and then you'll be fine. With a baby you also need a diaper bag and I'm not gonna talk about what you put in the diaper bag. I'm just gonna tell you that if you can get like a backpack kind like this model then I really recommend it. You're juggling so many things with a newborn. You have the car seat, you have the baby, and then you have the stroller, and probably some spit up <laughs> mixed in to all of that. And having something like this that you can just throw on your back and it's secure over there instead of having to constantly try to move it back over there because it keeps flipping down, I would really recommend that. The last thing on my list you might not expect for it to be there, but it's a breast pump. <laughs> And I added this to the list for your sanity. A breast pump and a bottle. I am so pro breastfeeding and I wanted Max to get all of the good things in the breast milk as, for as long as possible. Um, but I also found myself that I was just really needing a break sometimes. Also if you have problems or are prone to infections then it's really good to have on hand. But I would say either way, I would actually do it. I just found it so nice that I could actually pump out my own breast milk and then Morten could feed this to Max in a bottle. It made it possible for me to pop out of the house for an hour or two, just get a break, see some friends, and just be out of the mom baby zone. The great thing about this is too that we were actually able to take shifts feeding Max during the night. So what we did was I would actually pump out a bottle so Morden would give Max a bottle for one of the feeds. And Morden just loved it too, sitting there with his little son and feeding him the bottle. He really liked it as bonding time. You'll most likely need a car seat as well. I don't know many people who didn't need a car seat. What kind of car seat you need? I'm not an expert for that. So I'm going to let you go through all of that research yourself. It's tough. It can take a while, but just Go with your gut feeling, you'll find what fits you, your car, and your price point the best. 
that's it guys it's not that much so I think it's probably around 25 maybe 30 items all together but some of them are very small and inexpensive like this little thing and some of them of course are bigger purchases but these are the basic things and I would really recommend that you get these things and then during the first month or the few, first few weeks you find out if you need a mama roo or a baby nest or maybe a baby carrier your baby might not be a crier um, he might just be put down and then just go to sleep you don't have to walk around and carry him all the time so just see what happens when your baby arrives and I'm so excited for you that you're gonna have a baby by the way and I hope everything goes well let me know in the comments if you found these tips helpful and let me know too if there's something that you think an essential item that I forgot I would love it if you put it down there for other moms to see I'll try and make a few more videos like this like basic items and stuff that you definitely probably won't need for your baby so if you like those kind of videos please subscribe and share these with your friends it means a lot to me and thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time bye